Now, in this next game, this big game has a surprising favorite. Rotation 3 to 9 through 30. Auburn against Northwestern. Northwestern laying the points. Okay, the Wildcats laying the three, three and a half on a total of 43 and a half. I can't believe this. I refuse to believe Northwestern is going to win this game. No, you prove me wrong. <laughs> um, uh, I have a question for you. What, what, what element of your argument um, against Georgia does not apply to Auburn? You know what it is? It's like oh. Northwestern <laughs> oh. is so weak. Northwest, they're so little. They're they they are so small when you put them up against their opponents. Like since he has some beef, you know. Like Northwestern doesn't have much weight on their line of scrimmage. I feel like they're gonna get pushed around in this game. How are they supposed to open up a margin? Like you could talk to me about the under. I mean, I assume Auburn is not going to come to play. Um, okay. Also, coaching disarray, right? Mm-hmm. Because, like, the, the coach of Auburn, right, is not going to be the coach next year. So he's just, like, the substitute teacher. Like, no one has to listen to him. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I would say that's a pretty strong argument for Northwestern as you either – their, um, what do you say, uninterest or disinterest, the coaching array issue, like, why not lay it with Northwestern? Oh, that's... Because, because you can't. Because of, you just can't. Uh, <laughs> because you just can't. You know what I will do? I will look for ways to parlay the Northwestern money line with stuff. Yeah, that's, that's, what that's what but, you should I do. That's what you should do. I mean, it, this game could be... Nine to seven. Okay, this could be yeah. utterly absurd. Three yeah. points could actually end up being a lot. Plus, you know that's how Fitzgerald likes to be. He likes to coach in the phone booth. You know. Um, yeah, what yeah. What is I... the surface of this stadium here? We are playing at the Camping World Stadium. Is that where the uh, Dolphins play? Um, uh, no camping. See, that's the real thing in Camping World Stadium. I would like no, this, this is an Orlando. Grass. I feel like turf would favor the uh SEC team here. Okay, this looks like a grass field to me. I like it. This like is, it. according to Wikipedia, it was natural grass from 1936 to 2009. And is AstroTurf um, from uh, AstroTurf Root Zone 3D3 since 2016? Darn it. I was just looking at a Google image. Uh, all right. Well, we'll give up the lean to Northwestern. I don't want to grade laying that, laying that three and a half. That's rough. It's just That's icky. It feels it's icky. But, like, honestly, this was a team that almost beat Ohio State. This is a team that for two and a half quarters was beating a team that will be in the college football playoff. Um, like I, the, the only, they lost that game because of some bad, because they couldn't just, they couldn't stop Trey Sermon. Um, and they didn't like make the proper adjustment, just adjustments in order to do so. And like Peyton Ramsey turned the ball over what three, three times, four times in that game. Um, they were close to winning that game. I don't think this is that bad of a team. I understand why you don't want to lay it with Northwestern. But if you're going to take either side, I say you lay it with Northwestern. But right, you, you take the money no, line. The, no, no, this is Pat Fitzgerald's finest hour. So, like, Northwestern's coming to play an Auburn name. Now, yeah. can Auburn still just beast them while being uninterested? That is my concern. Yeah, like Auburn could just physically wreck them, but I mean, no, these little—they're plucky. They're like the little giants from the movie Little Giants. Yeah, we definitely lean to the cats. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm going to skip over the next game. Cover.